can TMT still, you think, move forward? Is it the right thing to do to move TMT forward if there's a discussion still inside the Native Hawaiian community? Well, unless we sit down and continue talking, we can have these panels over and over. I don't see, we're not gonna move the needle. We're not gonna move the needle. Everything has been said and done and in court and for years now. So we're not gonna move the needle by holding more of these discussions, but we have to continue to talk. We have to, in order to address the needs of our people. So yeah, TMT is, is a different industry. Astronomy is where I protecting, not only TMT, but it's a, it's a venue that we need to offset the tourism. The issue isn't TMT. The issue is what the state's going to do to allow TMT access, right? TMT, all they're doing is putting up a facility. They got, they got, they got a response where they, they're either going to build it on the island, they're going to take it to someplace else like the Canary Islands, or they're not going to build it at all. TMT wants to build a telescope here in the Hawaiian Islands because science is based upon evidence, right? And the big investors, Canada, uh, uh, Japan, and, uh, and uh, well, not, not China isn't, isn't a big investor, but the, the US, right? They have large telescope facilities on the mountain. So they have scientific evidence that their facilities are producing good evidence. So why would you jeopardize moving the best technology to another location, right? You would just wait it out until, until the climate changes so that you can have this facility, this best possible facility in the best possible place. Why would you go invest a couple billion dollars in, a, in an environment that's sec, second rate? It makes no sense at all, right? India, is, India isn't a big player. They, 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 they're contributing about 10% of, 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 of what's needed for a telescope. But India asked the right question, and the right question was, how are you going to protect the telescopes, not just TMT? How are you going to protect the telescopes yeah, while they're being built and after they're being built? Because the threat will always be. The threat will always be there. Yeah? Yeah? Enforcement is not just, not just for allowing access of the construction equipment and, and the employees up the mountain. Enforcement, is that's going to be a whole new dynamic. From now on, the telescopes will always be under the threat of, of occupation. Always. Yeah, that, that dynamic's not going to change. So the, so the, so the question is, is, is not about TMT, but what is the state going to do to allow the TMT to proceed? To proceed? It's the state's responsibility. Yeah, it's the state's re responsibility to allow access. It's not TMT. Yeah? TMT is just a vendor on the mountain. So, so my position has always been consistent, right? Clear the obstruction on the road. Open up access to all users on the mountain. Um, and, and if the laws are being broken, then there has to be consequences for that. Right now, there has been no consequence for breaking the law. No consequence, right? Nobody has been, uh, outside of the original arrest, no, nobody has been arrested, and yet they were stopping and they were saying who could go up on the mountain and who couldn't go up on the mountain, right? We, well, the state, allowed that to take place. They allowed that, 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 that behavior to take place. So what's the state's role in this? The state, at the very least, yeah, at the very least, they have to inspire the confidence of the public that we believe that our government is acting in our best interest. Are you confident? Are you confident in the state government, in, in, in what they've done to protect your, we're all law-abiding citizens, but there's only a select few people that are being protected, and it's not us. It's not us. So at the very least, the state's got to provide confidence that, 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 uh, that we as citizens have faith in our government because we give the state government the right to, uh, 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 to rule us, right? The right to govern us, yeah? 
In exchange, we say that we will follow your laws. Yeah? Yeah? We will follow and respect your laws. Your laws need to be enforced fairly and judiciously. Are the laws being enforced judiciously? Are the laws being, being enforced fairly? No. No. They're not. So, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I basically, I break it down to the simplest, the simplest things that I can evaluate. I'm not inspired by the government. The, I feel the government's failed me, yeah? by not acting responsibly, right? By, by, by allowing things to take place without no consequences. What do you want your government leaders to do next? What do you want TMT to do next? What, is, what would your guys' message be out there? I mean, what is the next step you see? And maybe not just what your advice or commentary to the leaders would be, but also, as we've slightly discussed, next steps for people in the audience going forward. Well, to, to address the log jam, what's, what is, has stalled the project, um, we as the people have to confirm that the governor, the attorney general, the University of Hawaii, and other decision makers, but those are the most obvious ones, are committed to build TMT. I say yes or no, because TMT got the permit. There is a legal right for them to proceed. Recognizing the following factors. Further negotiation with protesters who refuse to bargain in good faith is not a functional process. The truth is, and I think I've heard echoes of this from, from, from Wally and many other people, this is not really about TMT. And I know that because I have had protesters come up to me and say, uncle, I apologize. I'm sorry, but I gotta keep going because for the first time, someone's listening to me this is about issues that are social, political, or historic in nature. We have to recognize that the challenges faced by Hawaiians of healthcare, of housing, of incarceration have nothing to do with TMT. So please ask your representatives to decouple the challenges that a people face as a social matter with the uh, right to develop a telescope a scientific instrument. Next, the state has a responsibility to preserve and keep the peace. It is the government's responsibility to secure the mountain now that the permits have been legally verified. And finally, we need our leaders to understand the consequences of failure. The loss of $2 billion of economic activity. The loss of science-based research education, jobs, infrastructure, and the creation of a perception that Hawaii is anti-business, anti-science, anti-education. Enough with the modern plantations. We need high-paying, high-tech, STEM-based jobs and careers and professions. And finally, uh, we have another important player, and that is the TMT board. They have, um, at least some of them perceive, that protesters speak for all Hawaiians, and all Hawaiians are against development of TMT on the mountain. They contend, as protesters, that they represent Hawaii. And I agree with Wally, Ainoa. That means I can eat freely. What King Liho Liho proclaimed, in 1819, when he abolished kapu, and his high priest, the highest kohuna in the kingdom, Heva Heva, led the effort to overturn kapu. Without kapu, all of this so-called protocol, uh, claims of sacredness, and so forth, cannot be supported as a Hawaiian matter. If we appreciate and realize each of these elements, we have a chance because the telescope is a, you can draw a, a straight line from the navigation that my people practiced when Europeans were afraid to leave sight of land. Moving forward on this project in my lifetime is the most important step 
to now celebrating, preserving, and perpetuating that tradition that began over a thousand years ago. Something, something needs to occur. Something is going to occur, right? Either, either TMT is going to um, going to move ahead by the state securing access, or nothing's going to get done, right? So, so me, I, I'm a sailor, right? I've sailed on voyages for over 40 years, and as a voyager, what we always start off with is evaluating risk, right? Evaluating the risk, and the question you ask is, is what do you stand to gain by doing something? And what do you stand to lose by doing nothing at all? Right? What do you stand to gain by doing something? But what do you stand to lose by doing nothing at all? Right? So everybody's going to be exposed to risk if they decide to enforce the law and move the project ahead. That means the state's going to have to stick its neck out. They're going to have to expose themselves to the risk of somebody getting hurt. But I tell you what, I think the majority of the public will stand behind the state for doing something than them doing nothing at all. Yeah. We'll stand behind the state by them doing something rather than not doing nothing at all, right? And TMT is gonna also have to risk because they're gonna have to stick their neck out. They're gonna have to trust when that enforcement action occurs, they're going to have to trust that the state will protect them, will, will allow them to get the equipment up the mountain and will protect the workers. At what means? What's that? At what means? What means? What means? He means, I, th I, think, I think he means how will they enforce the law. Oh, I, I, I don't have a solution for, for, for that. See, ho wait, 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 whoa, 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 Several hours, okay? You guys say your peace. No, we never say our peace, because I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm, I'm not done yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uncle. 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 This is why I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. So you can walk up and walk, but you talking about Uncle. state. When you say state, you say United States military. Oh, I never say United States military. I never say United States military. I never say that. I never say that. I expected the U.S. military and the police department to stand there with guns on innocent people. Let's stop it. Yes, they're going about it in one manner that you may not agree. I agree with you. I agree astronomy has its place. It is beauty. It is loving. You look at the stars, you see the wonder and the beauty of it all. But we look at many things differently. But what I'm asking you is your question. At what means? Because if you're talking about means and you're talking about force, then everything you talk of is irrelevant. You guys know how to get in touch with me. We can put you on panel. We can have discussion. But I want to have it respectfully for everybody's time. We're almost done here. I, I think you brought up some interesting points. I think the panelists will want to speak to it. And after they speak to it, we'll have some closing thoughts. Uh, again, I'm only looking at a glass ball, right? I'm only, only uh, speculating what the, what the possible actions or options for actions can be. I, I offer a way forward, right? May not be what everybody wants as a way forward, but I do offer a way forward. 